Hey y'all, this is Brandy from Southern Crafts DIY and I want to say hey to all my returning viewers and welcome to any new viewers. And today, I'm going to be doing a project. It's really a summertime project, but I thought it would be a really cool idea to just go ahead and jump start on it. Um, we're just going to be making just a cool little sign. Um, I'm going to show you all the... Um, items needed for this item. Ugh, I can't even talk y'all. All the items needed for this project, which if you follow me on social media, which the links are down below, you'll have seen a list of everything needed. And you can also get that list on the community tab. So let's jump right in and I'll tell you everything needed. So you can get this sign right here from, well this picture, whatever you want to call it, sign. Uh, decor piece. It's called a wall decor, so. You can get it right there from Dollar Tree. They have other ones besides the octopus, but I really, really like the octopus. So, you can get this craft fabric, with, which is burlap, also from Dollar Tree. I don't know if it has this design anymore, because I got this last year, but they do still have burlap. Or you could just use some other... I just thought the burlap would go really good with it, but you could use a different summer fabric that's right there with all the rest of the summer stuff. Now, these I got from... Timu. So let me see if I can show you what they kind of look like. You will not be able to get these unless you already ordered them, but you can just use some other beads for this project. You're going to need some string, white paint, which I am using Snow White by Waverly, scissors, of course, and a paintbrush. So let's jump right in. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take the hanger off because I'm not reusing this hanger. And if it gives me too much trouble, I will cut it. But I, I like to try to keep it intact as much as possible because you can use it later on for something else. There it goes. So the first thing you want to do is take the hanger off because you are not using it, like I said. So you're not going to use the beads either. Unless you just want to use these kind of beads. So, all right. So the first thing we are going to do is we are going to paint this sign. I get it all in there. I'm sorry. And we're going to go ahead and we're going to paint it the white. If I can get my white open. Now, seeing how the whole thing's just going to be white, I'm going to use a big paintbrush because it really doesn't matter. Because I'm not changing different I'm not doing different colors now the reason why I chose white is because I thought it would really pop with the fabric fabric background it'll stand out in front of it and I just thought this was a really cool idea so you're just gonna paint the whole thing white
All right, y'all. I did decide to go with the smaller paintbrush because these, some of these corn, these sides are very tight, and I want to make sure I get it painted. So I decided to go ahead and go with the smaller, so it'll fit up in there. Okay, so you're gonna do what I've just been doing all the way around until it is completely painted sides and front. As you can see, it's dry and it's done. So we're gonna move on to the next step. And the next step is attaching the fabric to the back. So we're gonna open up our fabric. And get it open. Alright, we're gonna open up our fabric. 
and we're gonna put our uh, little sign we painted, picture we painted, whatever you want to call it, on it. And I'm gonna go a little bit over. I'm not too concerned about it because I want to make sure. Hold on. I want to make sure it's glued. So I'm gonna start from here and then I'll work around so you can see it all, okay? Because my camera, there it goes. We'll do it like that. All right. So we're just making sure it is completely got something behind it. And yes, if you feel comfortable doing it, you can. Um, I cut cricket by the way. You can um, measure, but I measure and it never works out the way I want it to, y'all. So I quit measuring. Alright, so I'm gonna put that up for now and then we're gonna double check to make sure I did this right. Yes. So Next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna glue it to the base. All right, so we're gonna start gluing. And I'm just gonna do like this. Got lost for a second. And we're just gonna go across. And we're gonna glue it down. all the way across and like I said if you don't didn't find any burlap that you liked you can very well use just regular um, what's it called <laughs> regular um fabric I'm sorry y'all it just wouldn't come to mind Trying to make sure I keep it where it's gonna fit. You can also use a different glue. I just figured, you know, hot glue is fast and it'll get the job done, so, you know. That's where that came into play. Gotta get some more glue. Now, you don't have to do it this way, but I think I am. I'm gonna not just glue the sides, I'm gonna glue across like this too. I may not get everywhere, but I do want to get just to help hold it more, you know? Sorry, I'm dropping everything.
so now I'm just gonna do like this because we are pretty much done with it and I want to make sure I get it around the holes because oops, I'm gonna be poking a hole through this fabric and I don't need any problems We're going to see how it looks in a minute, y'all. Hopefully it looks good. Alright, so we're going to let it dry. Make sure it's all completely dry before we do anything else, but what do y'all think? I actually like it. I think it looks really good right now. I'm happy with it. Alright. Alright y'all, I'm going to try to cut the fabric, we'll see how it works. I've never done this before, so I'm hoping I don't screw up. I'm sure you can use scissors on it too, but I want to use my little knife. I guess it's really not little, but... And I'm not too worried about this part I'm cutting off because I can always find something else to use it for. So, don't worry about that too much. if I have to. So, oops. Now I just got to add the, um, <sighs> hanger. So I'm going to take my little pick that I use for stuff and I'm going to poke a hole through it just so I can see where it needs to go. I'm going to make it, see, okay. Now, that being done. I'm going to take my string and 
I don't even remember where I got this. I mean, you don't have to use this, but it should be fine. So, and I'm going to string some beads on it. And then we'll be done. Alright, so I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to put this in on one side. Just because... You only need one side open. Let's see if I can get it through there. I don't even know y'all. Alright, I got it through. Alright, so now I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna string it in the pattern I want. And hopefully I like this. Oh shoot, these might be too big. Yeah, you know what? This is too bad. I'm going to have to use something different. Alright, y'all. That piece of string was too thick. So my mom's let me use some of her bead wire. So we're going to use that. I'm going to have to do it different. Because I don't want to use too much of it. So I'm going to go ahead and just start stringing. And then when I got it strong, I'll cut both ends. I mean, I'll cut the other end. So I just did a certain pattern. I mean, it really doesn't matter. You don't have to do it this way. I just did the white bead, the blue bead. I mean, like I said, you probably don't even have these, but. And then I did a turtle, sea turtle. And a starfish. And then start over. I just thought these were really cute and it goes so well with the color that I theme that I chose so that's why I wanted to do this. Oops, wrong color. And I didn't want to make any of the same colors touching that's why I went white blue, white blue, white blue, white blue. Again, this is totally up to you how you want to do it. You can just use some plain wooden beads. You can keep the same amount that was on it. I just I just felt like it wasn't enough. So that's why I wanted to add more. And I know the way they did it, they did it where the two beads were supposed to be on the side or where it was hanging, but I don't know. I just I like what I like. Just like I'm sure y'all like what y'all like. So, that's why I'm doing it like this. And you can leave off the last two beads if you want, but I just didn't want it to end on the uh, starfish, so I added two more of the just circle beads, the white and the blue. I might even change it up a little. I might do, I think I am actually. I think for the ends, I'm going to do two whites and two blues. Just so it's a little different, you know? And then the insides. No, no I'm not because it's still got a white. I'm trying to make sure they, they're the same. And it just wouldn't look right like that. So never mind, I take that back. Ignore that. Alright, so 
there it is. I think it's plenty enough. So I'm gonna, if I can get it. I'm gonna put this through here. Sorry y'all, I'm having technical difficulties here. Should be good enough and then I'll try not to cut too much off because this is not my wire so give me a second and I'll finish up. All right now I'm gonna slip this through this side I don't know why that's it on there I think I just like to make things difficult for myself and this side came out <laughs> All right. So now I'm going to tie it, and I don't want to tie it too tight because you still got to have a little give on it. So I'm just going to tie it. And a knot and I'm also gonna add I always add hot glue to make sure but I think it came out looking good sorry let me fix it so you can see I think it came out looking good y'all I'm happy with it so that is it for today's project and like I said I'm gonna add some hot glue on the end of this to just make sure it stays knotted so I had fun making this project. I hope y'all enjoyed it too. If you liked it, please make sure you like, share, subscribe, and comment because it does help my channel to grow. And I will see y'all next time. Bye!